The common hawk cuckoo's call rises to a crescendo as the sun starts to descend from its zenith. The sunburnt grasslands of South India are teeming with life. Insects fill the landscape and birds don't shy away from this bounty. Upos and bush larks make easy pickings of ants and grasshoppers on the ground. Birds like the Jacobin's cuckoo find their meal on branches. Lastly, there are the aerial hunters, the most acrobatic of them all. They are designed for catching insects in mid-air with incredible accuracy. While the grasslands play host to a number of insectivorous species, the green bee eaters are iconic to this habitat. Their name describes both their color and feeding habits. They scan the sky frantically as they call out to one another from time to time. Gales rock the sturdy branches and raindrops dampen the arid ground. Summer showers are welcomed by all the creatures of the grassland. The feathered folk must brace themselves for a heavy downpour. While the rain may dampen the spirits of most birds, it has quite the opposite effect on the bee eaters. The rainwater softens the arid ground, allowing the bee eaters to dig a hole. A pair of adults share the duties. As one digs, the other stands sentry. Bee eaters lay their eggs in a nest that is dug into the ground along a sandbank. The excavation has stopped. The male is now busy keeping the female well fed as she spends a lot more time inside the nest. The reason for such frantic foraging lies safe in the confines of the burrow. A new generation of green bee eaters need to be kept well fed. The adults have not a minute to spare. For the next couple of days, they must feed the offsprings tirelessly. Their relentless efforts have paid off in the form of two healthy juveniles that have finally emerged from their nest.
the parents now take on the new responsibility of training them to become hunters. The young birds must learn to scan while sitting on thin branches. Strong winds only make it harder. Within a couple of days, the siblings have shown progress. And it is a matter of time before they start hunting like their parents. Although the juveniles have become independent, they often take time out for a family sand bathing session. These youngsters will soon give rise to another generation of hunters. Until then, they have a lot more to learn and many bees to catch.